Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you a brand new tool from Microsoft Bing. And this one is called Bing Image Create. So what this is, you can now create image using Microsoft AI with their DAO E, yeah, DAO E2, the open AI model. So if we search for bing.com slash create, This will bring you to this brand new website called uh, Microsoft Bing Image Create, powered by Dao E. Currently, it's a preview, uh, like a beta. I think it's only available for places like outside of Hong Kong. So I'm currently in UK, so that's why I'm able to use this. And basically, it's it's a tool that you just need to type in your prompt, and it will generate image for you. So we can scroll down and see some of the other ideas that you can explore. So for example, this one's like writing ring design with pearls. This one's a cozy cabin in a winter wonderland cinematic landscape. Oh, 1950s computer on a pink background, restful futurism. And then this was a panda bear baking a cake in the sunny kitchen digital art. So I think that, uh, some of them are art, a bit artistic and then uh, there are also ones that are more realistic. So depending the type of image you want to generate and you just need to put them in correctly. So we scroll down further, you're going to see there's an FAQ here, but those who are just getting started on the AI writing or AI image creating, this is probably a good place to read on. I'm not going to read it for you. You can have that look on your own. I just want to show you that. Uh, what some of the functions are around the Microsoft uh, image create. So if you notice this particular thing, it's like a, it's like a coin. So this is actually the boost. So because it requires time to generate AI images and Microsoft would allow you to use some of the boost so you can generate the images more quickly. And I think there is a limit per day, so you cannot generate like hundreds or thousands of image per day. So I think there is a limit. So currently there is a bit of limitations with text to image creator. Most of them would have some of these uh, limitations. For example, that the text is not going to be right. So these are some of the sample images they have. Look at the wording. It doesn't say it's gas. It's just like really random symbol signs. And in terms of like, you know, hair or the fingers, sometimes they are distorted or sometimes you have a lot of different fingers. I think that's something they are still working on right now to further improve the output of the images. But I think overall they are improving from time to time on the output as well as the, the way you, that you write your prompts. So just make sure that if you want to have like a more futuristic style. You just need to provide the, the, the prompt correctly. If you want it to be like a pencil drawing that mentioned it's pencil drawing, or, you know, you want it to be a bit more artistic than to put in like artistic or as well as even putting in like some of the artists for, for the AI to reference. So what we can do is just select a random word. So I'm going to put in sky scraper on floating island ultra realistic And then we can hit create. So while this is being generated, we can look around what is also available on the screen. So on the right hand side, you can see all the recent images that Microsoft image creator has generated for you. Looks like we are already finished. So previously I had 25 of these, uh, credits and. Now it just took one away, 
So we can click on any of these images and click on it. And this is the size, uh, 102, four pixels times 102, four. So that's a square image. If you want these images to be different ratio, I think you should just specify in the prompt. So for example, you want this image to be landscape or portrait. You just mention it inside the prompt. So this looks pretty good. If you like it, you can download it or save it as a collection or share it with someone. So let's go back. So these are some of the other outputs. So let's have a look at this one. So I think this is also quite good. What we can do is just download it. So it's pretty straightforward how to use a Microsoft image creator. And if we go back to some of the other images I've generated, it'll even leave you with the, the, the prompt that got this image. So this one is daytime coffee shop with wood inspiration with robot drinking coffee. So these are the ones that the AI has generated for me. And since I'm in London, so I'll just put in some random, random house mansion, and then just putting in some random ideas like on an island, there's airplanes flying around. So that looks pretty good. Again, like you, you we want like ultra realistic, they'll give you this. So it's, it's a very easy tool to use. It's free. It's free for now. I think that it will detect all your credits and it will require to use some of your points or they call it the Microsoft uh, reward. So we'll have to kind of see how this really works. If you want to be generating a lot more images than just 25 per day. And yeah, that's how you use the Microsoft uh, image creator. Very easy to use. Uh, there's no, no service fee. I think you just need to use Bing as your AI browser and you'll get this feature. Again, if you're in Hong Kong, you're probably not going to be able to use a uh, Bing image creator, but like once you're outside of like certain area, then this should be made available for you. If you don't see it on your browser, then you might just want to manually type in www.bing.com slash create. And you should be able to come to this specific page. Sorry. So I think this is the page and this is how it looks like. So is there any questions around the Bing image curate? Let me know in the comments down below and I'll see you in the next one.